these are some of the materials, the main materials and tools that I use for the venting machine. That's the venting machine after I've put the cascades on it. And uh, as you see there, I have a pair of scissors, a good pair of scissors, because they tend to dull easily over time. Uh, that one I've had for about five years. Uh, next to it is a box cutter. I use a pen or pencil and a pencil sharpener, as you see there, next to the ruler. And then I use a metal ruler, and the reason for that is because I will do a lot of scoring using the box cutter and the uh, ruler together. And if the if you use a plastic or wooden ruler, it tends to uh, the blades of the box cutter tend to cut into it. I also use recycled materials like this toothpaste box with paper that I've applied to it. It looks pretty rough right now, but I'll be putting a rooftop on it and, and uh, some artwork, so it'll look much better than it does now. I use a coin for testing the coin slots. And aluminum foil I use for creating some of the trigger balls, like that one right there, and for some weights. That trigger ball has paper around it. I, I'll use some drawing and painting materials like the colored pencils and acrylic paint. I like to use gel ink once in a while too. This has been really indispensable for me, uh, this paper cutter. Um, instead of using a, an expensive wooden paper cutter, I just used this inexpensive one that I got at Office Depot. I really like pointing at it a lot. <laughs> Um, I use it for cutting straight edges, of course, on paper. I used to use scissors for that, but this has saved me quite a bit of time. I also use it for scoring uh, cardstock so that I can make better folds on the paper. I'll use magazines and junk mail for collage work that I'll add to the artwork as one of the last stages of the vending machine. It's actually stage five. As you can see, there's no artwork on it now. I'll take half of a 7.6 ounce bottle of Elmer's glue, pour half of the bottle into the, the cup, and then add a splash of water until it's the consistency of maple syrup, as you can see here. So it just pours off the brush like that, instead of dripping. If it drips, it's a little too wet, and you have to add some more glue to it. If it's too thick, just add a little more water to it. Then I created a cap out of aluminum foil I place on top and I just put that in the ref refrigerator it keeps pretty well I will use the glue bottles for gluing hard to reach places and strips of paper underneath the magazine I have some of the colors that I chose for the artwork in in the end I didn't use that purple color um, but I did use some of the other colors and that's cardstock acid-free cardstock acid-free paper some scrap paper and origami paper that I have on top. I like the the way the colors blend on the origami paper. As you can see, I kind of I already crinkled the origami paper, so it's ready to use. I use that for another project. And I also use laser printer paper. It's acid free. I got that at Office Depot. You can get reams of it there or any office supply store. And that's what I use for the base color. Always acid free paper. And this is poster board. I just bought uh, three sheets of poster board in a package. It's pretty inexpensive. You can also get that at office supply stores at Walgreens or Walmart. Walmart. And that's what I used for the most part in for the vending machine that I have back there. <coughs> and that's what it looks like. I'll also use an old heavy book. The dust cover on this one it was in pretty bad shape and I used this for pressing the, uh, the layered paper and cardstock after I've glued it together. I'll use that to get rid of any warping to flatten the paper. Eventually I'm going to get rid of that dust cover. Uh, the book is still in pretty good shape. And then I'll use a paper plate for scrap paper. You can use a some kind of bowl or any container, recycled container for scrap paper and 
extra glue that you get off your hands and so on and so forth. A lot of the scrap paper I will recycle. And then I use old newspapers to protect the table when I'm gluing objects or gluing paper together.